Hello my lovely Capricorn, welcome, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and we're going to find out what's happening for you, what's coming for you this year or as we say next year, it depends when you're watching it, 2023 regarding money, manifestation, business, finances, career and good the things that we want and need in our lives. Capricorn, how are you doing? I really hope you're doing great. Just keep in mind this is not one-on-one -on -one reading, this is a general reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon and Rising, so check that out as well. So take the messages that do resonate and drop the rest. And don't be a stranger, don't be shy Capricorn, press the subscribe button, of course, like and comment as well if you feel that way. I know it's going to be a good year, but let's find out in the detail what's coming for you, my lovelies. You ready? Let's dive in. Two cards are coming out. All right. Ace of Pentacles and page of, um, Five of Cups. Okay. Interesting. They just came out two together. I had to take them two together, right? Indeed. Let's card. Oh, Scorpio. Scorpio is haunting this readings uh, a lot. Lots of changes. Lots of... Um, transformation is happening this year indeed knight of pentacles beautiful <clears throat> and the fool yeah that looks like a good setup right indeed 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 queen of cups a lot of kings and queens around as well so maturity is happening six of cups beautiful beautiful two of cups wow hmm okay sounds like family business been built or something around the family here and we have King of Swords in the middle. And there we have in the heart, we have another ace. And that is fabulous. Two aces. That's like definitely, yes, Capricorn. This is happening. This is great. Now, at the bottom, we have, oh, Magician and Nine of Pentacles. Oh, righty, righty, righty. <clears throat> what a year you are going to have. It is going to be spectacular absolutely spectacular we have nine of pentacles and the magician as the general kind of energy team that is going on and well it's for everyone that's easy to see it's kind of like starting really putting down your feet on the ground being financially stable again over this period of time over the next next year it's really kind of for some of you you are wanting and it's good omen to have here a magician wanting to be really financially strong either this is by changing job or trying to uh, ask for a raise or tr educate yourself and getting a better position or even doing your side hustle and maybe leaving your your place of work even retiring and it feels like you are you wanting that as the Ace of Wands is saying, you want that zest, the fire back in life. You really want to be happy when you wake up in the morning. You really want to be doing things that makes you happy. And not draining you, but really charging you ahead. Because Nine of Pentacles is like next to the Ten of Pentacles, which is kind of like the ultimate abundance. And even Nine of Pentacles is like, yes, I'm working on it, I'm building it. I'm feeling good about it and I, I can see and I can feel the good things are coming your way. And with Magician, everything is available. For you, everything is right in front of you. Go for it. It's a good omen. It's kind of like, plus we have the fall as well. It's like double green lights. We have two aces, like double yeses, four yeses. Just go for it. Capricorn, come out of your shell. Come out of your whatever is holding you back and just just do it. Just do it. Yes, indeed. Now, I'm going to stick in here. Now, we have um, Five of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, and King of Swords, and the Fool. Okay. All right. I can see here. There might could be some sort of plan that you want to do. And it might not work exactly how you would like to un or anticipate it either timing-wise or shape-wise. There's something that you really wanted to happen. But universe had different plans for you. God had different plans for you. And it offered something else instead. And it kind of feels that either someone who you are close to or maybe your inner voice is kind of guiding you and saying, look, Capricorn, it might not be exactly what you want today, but this what's being offered to you is actually much better that was originally on the cards on the table 
Don't dwell on the things that are not working out. Don't bang on the doors that now you not need to open. You're going to open Pandora's box that way. Something, universe has really done you a favor. Something's been taken out of the context con of your life. And even though it might seem that, oh, why is this happening? Why is things that didn't work out? It's for a reason, because something else has come instead for your benefit. And having that clear and clear conversation and being honest with yourself. Maybe this is some sort of ego is coming a little bit in and you really kind of, oh, I really wanted it. I really, I really wanted it. I really wanted it. I really wanted it. You wanted it. But that's not what you needed. Alrighty. Okay. <laughs> Sounded very harsh. But yeah, King of Swords are not uh, very rosy and um, sugary, sugar coating the words either. He's kind of the same as, similar as the Queen of Swords. He's going to tell as it is. But for your benefit. Okay. And there could be things that has happened. And some sort of circumstance is turning and changing. And it might, do, might seem that it was... Oh, what's going on? But it'll turn into like, oh yeah, thank God that happened that way. And it kind of gives you that green light and the full some sort of opportunity for you to be free. And look, for some of you, you might be actually offered early redundancy or some sort of some sort of form of package of some sorts. And it feels that yeah, you're free again. You're free to go. But in not not let go in a ways, but in a ways that you are Given that opportunity to work more on things that you prefer to do. Becoming more independent, becoming more in charge. Maybe you've been you no know, change of work hours or something has changed, okay? And it gives you that opportunity to start either build some sort of high hustle or do certain things that you never even thought about before. And full is definitely a good omen to have when you are, uh, you want something new, something new chapter in your life. Now, middle of the month, we have Queen of Cups, Age of Wands, and Two of Cups. I'd like to say, even though you had a setback and it's all turned out, don't let emotions run your show. And with Queen of Cups, it's very kind of nurturing the emotions, nurturing what you're feeling it. But don't let the emotions completely, oh, it doesn't feel right, so it must be wrong. No, sometimes what we feel is not what we are. And it's kind of really, right in the middle, we have Ace of Wands. And it's kind of really like saying, pull yourself together. Focus on, on things that really matter. Okay? And it could be that you are actually looking for... Um, it does feel that, why well, I felt the first put the six cups and down and then the two cups, it felt like some sort of family. And look, the family means various things for different people, okay? And the family could be actual family, could be a peer group of like-minded people that maybe come together, or even in, in on, on internet, you might never met together, but you are sharing some sort of information, sharing some interests. And so it does feel that you are really um, networking very well. And you're really gaining a lot of um, positive, for in interesting things. And as interesting as it even leads to the transformation, it may be that is your personal and professional year of change as well. Because with the ace, ace of wands is very often, it, wands come out to the people who are wanting to be um, self-employed or wanting to make things from nothing. It's kind of really like creating something from nothing. It's the fire, it's the, you know... Mm, what makes you waking up in the morning and wanting to go and do things that you do? And it's the self. It's something It's really kind of real personal growth. And it's collectively as well this year. It's a lot of for, for, for collectively. There's a personal and professional growth happening. You're really investing time wisely. Okay. Now, we have the Death card, Six of Cups and Knights of Pentacles. Death card is one of the most positive cards in the tarot deck. Why? <laughs> Scorpio is here. Now, Scorpio is a lot everywhere. It, it is because... The, look at the waterfall here. And the sunrise. And the white horse and the white rose. It's the purity. Life goes on. It's energy. It's ongoing, ongoing. But this transformation is sim similar as we have seasons. Right? And various seasons bring different type of feel about the year. Different type of memories as well. 
And this is a year as well, I was saying, it is transformation for you personally. And there's a certain things are happening that is making you, uh-huh, are you returning home? Are you planning to return home? That's what I'm feeling. Some days like calling you home or, oh, it has this sort of feel that you are starting fresh new, but somewhere where you've been before. Either this is a place you used to work or with people you used to know or even, I don't know, even returning home. And whatever the home is for you could be various places, right? Because Six of Cups is a bit of nostalgia, it's something from the past, something from that, that something's been there all the time. And next to that is Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I feels like something has something has turned your mind here something has switched on your mind and realizing values thank you the values the things that you thought are important for some reason along the line here certain events have taken place that will make you realize that what you thought was important ain't no more and whatever wasn't important before is right now. And it kind of makes you call home. It's either you want to go back to certain, to study or you want to go back to some sort of place you've been before or working with people that is something that is calling you back again. And you are going for it. We have two, two, we have two horses. So there's a movement happening. So there's some travel. Maybe you're creating a new place of home, something that reminds you of home. Hmm. Indeed, because Knight of Pentacles is um, uh, I call it accountant's car because he will cross the T's and dot the I's and make sure everything is perfect. But he's kind of looking long term, and maybe you are if you're not traveling end of the year yet, you are planning. You are really planning. Something is making you. There is a calling happening. There is some sort of calling there. Wow, I didn't see this twist turn happening. Capricorn, if this resonates, press the like button. Don't be a stranger. Thank you so much. Page of Cups, imagination. Alrighty. So there's this vulnerability. Being honest to yourself is, is really kind of playing a big part. Your emotional state. Your, for some of you, you might be homesick or a bit lonely in ways. And you feel that that place or people or whatever that is what it's you're being called to is make you feel whole again and that's you realize that that's missing there was something missing we have another magician manifestation guys two magicians in reading this is really kind of like things are coming true things are happening this is no joke this is not just like some sort of joke joker game it's, it's the year of things can happen if you wish to. Because you have free will. I can't tell you what to do. I can't tell you what to do. But look, he's look how he sits there at the, at this kind of round the table. Like a stone one. He's, and his hand is like out there and saying, look Capricorn, it's up to you. What do you want to do? It's good timing. But you got to take the steps. You got to take the steps. Six of Cups. It's a reflection. Yeah. Feels like... And it's good to see we have Five of Cups and we have the Six of Cups. You know? And the Six of Cups is... It's lovely. It's it's needed card. It's kind of real feels like there is something that is making you... I wouldn't say... Something that was missing for from your life. And when we have two cards that are really repeating with the, with the tarot. Every single tarot has different kind of feel as well. And it kind of feels here that there must have been... There was some sort of sadness. Either you had some disagreement with someone before. And that's been lifted. But something's been shifted. Something has shifted. 
maybe you have spoken to someone and now with with the king of swords and you have dealt with and it's availability to kind of put the all behind and move fresh start fresh yeah this is um very 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 important part um i have to say in your life even this is going to be a really crucial year for you guys learning and it's meant to happen look at the cross this is a, like it's like some sort of life changing event are taking place expect powerful change <gasps> oh wow expect powerful change expect and unexpected certain things will come out of woodworks certain things will really kind of turn your life around be bold and make the first move and i feel that there's some sort of time for healing either you and or maybe the other person as well and it will really set a good starting point for a good new chapter in your life right have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't yet see oh archangel gabriel as well archangel gabriel is my angel and it says you have an important life purpose involving communication and the arts please don't allow insecurities to hold you back i will help you Whenever I feel that I can't find the right words, whenever I feel that I can't, I need to speak or need to say something and I must start to speak too quick or too short sentences or too, just go around bushes, I don't know. I ask for help from Archangel Gabriel and that helps us to find the right time, to find the right words for us to express what we want to say. And so we have a communication with, with people or person that we can build bridges, that we can communicate and come together even with, with differences. Uh, yeah, that is very important. The communication will be a big thing for you. Ask your angels. There you are. What is your angel, Capricorn? What is your angel? Find out. Find out. Really, it really help you there. Improving health and don't stop. Have faith in what you do and have faith that things can be sold resolved and we're improving health look at the chakras here it really kind of feels that there could be throat chakra and heart chakra and a lot of things that feels that there is some events happening it when is going to take place that will turn your life around and it'll give you that time for healing and addressing the issues that you need to address and without that event you probably wouldn't be even thinking about it ask your angels communication again we have this communication again go 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 green light is go 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 this is year not of this is not year for to procrastinate and i think it's gonna be one heck of a year for you but very progressive very healing year and money is coming in opportunities happening and possibly probably uh, you moving to this kind of really happy place right that's all i have for you today I'm um, wishing you, my lovely Capricorn, prosperous new year. And thanks so much for sticking with me this year as well. And I'll see you in the next reading. Take care, my lovelies. Ta-da.